Welcome everyone. So wow, look at that. So I've just got this Redo 5G home broadband installed in my house today and I'm like super excited to test it out. And as you can see, I'm getting proper 5G signal. I don't know, sometimes it fluctuates because it's um, I didn't keep it outside. But still, it does the job. So yeah, this is the modem which I had before. It was 4G um, HPB home broadband and it used to give me a speed around like 4, 3 sometimes, something like that. And which was terrible, honestly. And now I've got this big boy out, Huawei 5G indoor and outdoor CPE. And as you can see, I'm getting amazing, amazing, I hope it is amazing. We'll test it out. I'm getting 4G and 5G as well. Now in the box we can see it's written highest experience ever, strong signal everywhere, outdoor, indoor, and we've got the Red Dot Award 2019. And also um, Huawei 5G all scenario CP in the model number is N5368. X. And I think that's pretty much it. So when you open up, like you get these stuff, the 5G SIM card. Wow, uh, redo. This is it. And also you have these wall mounting items, which you can use to put it in a wall or like in your rooftop. So you've got this one, which helps you like connect it in a rooftop or a pole, I guess. Yeah. Then you've got these connectors as well, wrappers, I guess once again coming back to my modem i as you guys can see like i just kept it in my bedroom for now and uh yeah i'm super excited to test it out let's go so in the very beginning i'm going to talk about the two access dual band router because this router here it gives you like there are four antennas inside okay so you hear like this is where the sim card goes in and stuff we'll talk about that later yeah yeah i'm getting 5g and 4g wow that's fantastic it took like it took like half an hour to get the signal I guess or like 15 minutes but this is fantastic so I'm super excited to test it out yeah by the way uh, just to show you guys like real quick uh, I've got this Xiaomi um router okay which I basically keep in my room as an extender or something like that I've got an Amontel ADSL Wi-Fi in my home because um, we usually don't have the fiber optic as you can see this this guy has got four antennas these two are these two are 2.4 and these two are 5.0 gigahertz we're going to talk about it later these all of them four of them are inbuilt in here right in this big boy all right so yeah coming to the difference between the bands now when you connect as you can see when you connect the modem into electricity it's going to generate two different bands one will be 5 gigahertz another will be 2.4 gigahertz now the major difference you can see here is this <laughs> it's actually a minor difference now you can see here this is 5g and there is no 5g here now this one is often misunderstood by the customers or consumers as 5g but this is actually f not fifth generation which we are talking about the mobile network here so this is not the mobile network here this 5g it means the frequency which is 5.0 gigahertz all right now coming to the next point which is the difference between these two access points now the difference between these two bands are basically as you can see uh, there is basically no difference the password is same i'm using the same password so you can connect it and your mobile is going to switch it automatically between these two now the primary difference between these two frequencies are the range coverage and bandwidth which is speed that the band provides 2.4 gigahertz band provides coverage at a longer range so if i talk about this one this will be something like that a wave and if i talk about this one the wave will be much shorter okay so the wavelength will be shorter now this travels at a slower speed but it transmits data at a slower speed and it can penetrate through walls better whereas this one okay so let's say if i put five gigahertz uh, which is something like that and i put a wall barrier here and you've got the 2.4 this can basically penetrate and whereas this might not be able to penetrate okay now the difference is um here this 2.4 can give you up to i think 600 mbps maximum or probably 500 whereas this one 
can transmit up to 1.3 GBs per second, right? So the modem which we are testing today, it only gives you 20 Mbps, so it's completely fine to use either of this one, so it doesn't matter. Explaining the next point, the range is lower in the 5 GHz band because higher frequencies cannot penetrate solid objects such as uh, walls and floors and etc. However, higher frequencies allow data to be transmitted faster than lower frequencies. So the 5G band allows you to upload and download files faster. So I'll go with it for the time being for the testing and purposes. So the message to consumer is that you can connect to both of them all right and let your mobile do the job and by the way all mobiles might not support this band because you need a 5g receiver for this one as well so i'm using currently galaxy samsung galaxy note 10 plus which supports so yeah some device might not support it might support only this one yeah oh by the way i'm gonna explain you something through notes and that is uh where's my notes all right yeah now how 5 gigahertz work i'll tell you how it like matters let's say you've got the 5g device here all right your modem and this is generating 5 gigahertz and also 2.4 gigahertz 5 gigahertz and also 2.4 gigahertz 2.4 also 5 something like that now if you have other electronic devices like a mobile phone or even a microwave oven or you have anything most of them they basically generate 2.4 which is like that 2.4 2.4 this is also generating 2.4 so here you can see interference of 2.4 here you can see interference of 2.4 because there are other devices as well in your house which which basically uh, and generates 2.4 whereas this 5.0 is not generated by any other device so there is basically no interference which really really helps anyway uh coming back to this yeah i can also explain you in another way i've got this application here prepared for this i've got this wi-fi analyzer we are going to use it so here you can see access points all right so i will show you the interference here okay so if you if you consider this okay this is the normal 2.4 and this is the 5.0 here you can see the frequency is 5180 and here you can see it is uh, 2412 okay now if i show you the other networks okay you're going to understand here is also 2400 this is also 2400 this is also 2000 and all of them are 2400 except this guy right here which is 5000 so all of them generates the same wave whereas this one generates different so there is no interference and this is going to really help you achieve better speed all right i can show you another way here channel graph you can see this is five gigahertz all right and you can just see one network over here but where is if i shift to 2.4 gigahertz which is right here if i shift to this one okay you can see the other ones so you see all of them are using 2.4 gigahertz but whereas the 5 gigahertz is only one so yeah that's it that's pretty much the difference and you can use 5 gigahertz when you are nearer to the modem now going to the speed test um i've actually done some speed tests before uh just to let you know so here are the results i guess so let me go mm, yep so this one here getting 21.8 21.8 20 20.9 and 20.8 which is quite good because we have chosen the 20 mbps plan from uridu and they are offering it for 28 reals okay now if you notice the most important thing i want to note here these are consistent now if you notice the most important thing i want to mark here that these speeds are consistent 21 21 20 20 which is near 21 so you're getting more than 20 which is fantastic and also the upload speed is consistent so this is the most important thing it doesn't matter if you're getting 18 but always if you get 18 18 18 that means it's good you're getting uh, 19 but if you always get 19, it's good. So the most important thing is the stability of the network. Anyway, uh, going back to SP test, let's see what happens. 
Oh my goodness me, this is fantastic. <laughs> okay, so we are getting an amazing speed right now. So this is a live test and this is the speed we're getting and it was done. Okay, the other test, I think it were done like 15 minutes ago and this one is done. Okay, anyway, let's see. Oh, we got 21.2 and upload is somewhere. It's supposed to be around 10 and that's correct. We have got 10 and 21.2. If we go once again, let's see, just to make sure. All right, let's go with the other app. So yeah, we got here, we start. And uh, let's see with the other app. Yes, it does reach 20 and more than 20 at times. So this is the perfect download speed for 4K streamings, YouTube, gaming, and etc. And I'm going to show you that as well now yeah so this is proved and it's a really really nice speed so oh, these advertisements are terrible anyway my home so i'm just going to go to the other room and i'm going to connect to the amontel um amontel 4 mbps which they promise yeah uh, this is the amontel 4 mbps connected in my dad's bedroom um so yeah let's see what we get from that and we can see a major difference i'm sure we can see a major difference so yeah finding server all right found the server so let's go all right you can pretty much see the difference very very well now we are getting 2.8 or maximum 3 i sometimes get 2.5 sometimes get 1 it really depends i think basically no one is using the network so it's 2.8 and uh yeah the upload will be terrible i can tell you that it will be terrible but anyway let's see yeah this is the upload as you can see it's terrible and the ping is terrible jitter is terrible well i'm not blaming amanto for this the fact is the technology they use we're using the old copper connection adsl so so we're going to look at uh, at the average because the average matters so we're going to do it once again i guess yeah and i'm probably going to get the same speed which is super amazing because 20 mbps is a really really good speed yep that's it now i want to show you the real life experience which is probably playing youtube or something like that so the real life experience let's go and do it so i'm going to open youtube let's see all right mr who is the boss when i was growing up i never really had a whole lot of disposable income so whenever it came okay. yep. If it doesn't Hello take everyone. Much time, so this is going to be a real. Doesn't take much time. Wow, is... the design of this is okay, kind of amazing. Right, I've wanted to do this for a long time now. Okay. Just this video opens immediately, and then you've got this from iPhone one agent, I guess, <coughs> opens immediately as well. You've got this one. we have got four more videos, like let's say this one. Opens we created an exoskeleton, like, hard glass. You want to show you? Like it doesn't take much time, it just comes around, <laughs> you see, it just comes around, it's it just opens, so, <laughs> it's, 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 it's fantastic, let's open this one, 14 yeah. iPhones, okay, 2 so months of preparation, this is it, this is a brand new Nike Joyride shoe, it doesn't buffer at all, what is up guys, alright, how about Netflix, so if I go to Netflix right in here, and go to TV shows, and um, let's say Haunting Play, Starts right away. All right, streaming. Right. No one wants it. Superstition. Bring it here. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. No buffering. Nothing at all. Anyway, so this was Netflix and YouTube. So I'll also be doing a gaming test and see how it goes. Um, so for the gaming test, we're going to launch PUBG. I'm just going to show you guys the ping and etc. which we get here.
Now remember, a point to be noted that the ping also depends on the server. So, different server will give you different ping, as you can see. Mm, and I completely forgot. As you can see, different server will give you different pings. And here you can see Europe is going to give me 81.79. And Middle East is going to give me this one. At times when I have tested, I've got 20 as well. So, yeah. Anyway, into real life game. So the ping is going to come somewhere here, if you notice. So let's see what is the ping. Starting a game and let's see the ping. I think the ping is going to be somewhere here, so just have a look here. Let's see how much the ping we get. I expect it to be 60 or 80, something like that. Wow, it's 20! Anyway, I've just forgotten to do the 4K test in the YouTube 4K. So this is the 4K video, as you can see. This is 4K and it's running super smooth. So that's an amazing speed, actually. I'm suggesting you guys to go for the only defense plan because that would be more than the speed. And then, I think that's it. That's enough for today. And then, we can do the speed plan. And here, I just want to show you this thing where you can speed in there, you can see here. Okay, so I've got this amazing speed from uh, Redo, which is 20 Mbps, and I really, really liked it. And I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5, and the rest is up to you guys. So, yeah, I hope to see you in another video. Till then, bye bye, and choose a Redo, enjoy the internet with the Redo.